In network models, the application layer is responsible for maintaining a smooth interaction between the application and the user. It is also responsible for maintaining the network services that the user use over the internet services. Hi guys and welcome to yet another trusting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for today's session. Where the first topic is, what is an OSI model? Continuing with, what is the application layer? Moving forward with the functions of the application layer in a network model. And the last topic is, protocols in the application layer. Let's take a look at the first heading, that is, what is an OSI model? The OSI or Open System Interconnection Model is a specifically designed set of protocols that govern communication channels through which network devices share information and data. This task of sharing and dividing among the seven layers of the OSI model for micro level is known as the OSI function. Now let's move on to the main heading for this session, that is, what is an application layer? The application layer acts as an interface for the user and the application being accessed. It manages the protocols required by the application to present the data to the user. They apply HTTP and SMTP and similar protocols for the data transmission over the network channel. Now let's move forward with the next setting that is functions of the application layer. But before we begin, Let's take a look at the brief working of the application layer in an OSI model. To begin with, the application layer will share data unit with the lower layers, where the work of application layer is that it acts as an interface between the user and the system applications. It is responsible for applying multiple network functions and protocols to better understand the data and edit them for the lower layers. It applies multiple protocols in the network channel, some of which are Telnet, DNS, DHCP. Now let's move on to the functions of the application layer, where the first function is Network Virtual Terminal. Then we have File Transfer Access and Management, Addressing, and Mail and Directory Services. Let's move forward with the first network function. Network Virtual Terminal. The application layer allows the user to connect user system to a remote device to access functions and services. To establish remote access for the user, the application layer stimulates a terminal at the remote host. Let's take a look at the second function. File Transfer Access and Management The application layer through remote accessing can transfer and manage files for the user system in a remote device. The file access of files is handled in terms of file attributes such as file structure and the functions applied to the files along with the features included in the file system over the network channel. Now let's move forward with the next function of the application layer, that is addressing. The application layer to establish the connection between the network devices requires the need to access addresses. The application layer handles requests from the client to the server device. This is possible by using the server and the client address. The server will reply to the client's address using the DNS service for addressing reasons. Now let's move forward with the next function of the application layer, mail and directory services. The application layer function is also responsible for handling email forwarding and storage. This function of the application layer is also responsible for handling access rights for global information on the network services. With this, we have completed all the important functions applied in the application layer in an OSI model. Now let's move forward with the next heading, that is the protocols of the application layer. 
The application layer provides multiple protocols, providing software with multiple protocols for handling data transmission and accessing the received data over a remote access channel in the network model. Some of the application layers applied in a network model are Telnet. Telnet refers to the telecommunication network. This application layer protocol is responsible for handling access filing over the internet. Telnet protocol uses port number 23 in the network channel. Then we have DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name System. The DNS service protocol is designed to translate the domain name into corresponding IP addresses over the network channel. The DNS protocol uses port number 53 in a network model. Then we have DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, which is responsible for assigning IP addresses to the host network. The DHCP protocol uses port number 67 and 68 in a network model. The last protocol for the application layer is SMTP. The SMTP protocol stands for Simple Meal Transfer Protocol. As the name suggests, this protocol is designed to handle meal transmission from one user to another user. The SMTP protocol uses port number 25 and 587 over the network model for transmission purposes. With this, we have covered all the important points regarding the application layer in an OSM model. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.